In the realm where reality bends and dreams take center stage, there exists a quaint and enigmatic island that has woven itself into the tapestry of our memories. Do you remember that first moment when you stumbled upon the 1977 TV series, Fantasy Island? Ah, the thrill of encountering a world where wishes were granted, and fantasies unfurled like petals of imagination in the gentle breeze. It was a show that beckoned us to embark on a journey, not just as passive observers, but as travelers in a realm where the line between reality and reverie blurred into a tantalizing dance. Cast your mind back to those episodes that etched themselves upon your consciousness, like the handwritten notes of a long-lost dreamer. Perhaps it was the tale of a shy soul transformed into a charismatic hero, or the poignant story of love rekindled across time's vast expanse. These moments became not just fleeting scenes, but fragments of emotion that found their way into the secret chambers of your heart. And now, as we traverse the corridors of memory, let's delve into some fascinating secrets that shroud Fantasy Island in an aura of mystique. These nuggets of trivia weave a tapestry of insights, revealing the behind-the-scenes whispers that made the magic come alive. From the auditions that shaped iconic characters to the serendipitous twists, that turn plot lines on their head. The stage is set to unearth these concealed gems. So, my fellow adventurers of the mind, fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the realm of the known and unknown, where facts are more fantastic than fiction. Let's unravel the secrets and stories that have kept Fantasy Island alive in our hearts, like the whispered promises of uncharted dreams. Remember, as we tread the line between memory and discovery, these tales are as much a part of you as they are of the island itself. And as we embark on this voyage of insight and imagination, let the memories resurface and the nostalgia envelop you like a warm embrace. Overview, Fantasy Island, a television series that debuted in 1977, offered viewers a unique blend of drama, fantasy, and morality tales. Created by Gene Levitt, the show was set on a mysterious tropical island where visitors could live out their deepest fantasies. The enigmatic Mr. Rourke, played by Ricardo Montalban, presided over the island, making dreams come true for the guests. Accompanied by his assistant Tattoo, portrayed by Herb Villachez, Rourke guided visitors through their fantasies, often imparting valuable life lessons along the way. The series' distinct style lay in its ability to seamlessly intertwine escapism with thoughtful introspection, creating an engaging and heartwarming experience for audiences. Impact on popular culture, Fantasy Island left an indelible mark on popular culture, pioneering the concept of wish fulfillment within a moral framework. Each episode delved into the desires and emotional journeys of its characters, delivering both entertainment and wisdom. The iconic catchphrase, smiles, everyone smiles, became synonymous with Mr. Rourke, reflecting his charismatic and enigmatic persona. The show's format of intertwining fantastical storytelling with life lessons influenced subsequent series that explored similar themes. Although the show concluded in 1984, its legacy endures through references, parodies, and revivals, cementing its place as a cultural touchstone. Main content, did you know that Fantasy Island was filmed primarily at the Queen Mary, a retired ocean liner turned hotel in Long Beach, California? This unique setting added to the show's exotic allure. Furthermore, despite the show's fantastical premise, it often tackled serious and poignant themes, such as love, redemption, and the consequences of unchecked desires. The format allowed it to explore various genres, from supernatural mysteries to romantic dramas. Guest stars were a hallmark of the show, with numerous well-known actors making appearances. Notable guests included Bill Bixby, Christopher Lee, and Anne Francis, among others. These guest appearances contributed to the show's allure and unpredictability. As for Mr. Rourke's assistant tattoo, played by Herb Villachez, his famous cry of the plane, the plane. As each guest arrived on the island became an integral part of the show's introduction, Fantasy Island sparked a renewed interest in the concept of wish fulfillment and self-discovery through the lens of fiction. Its ability to captivate viewers with imaginative tales while delivering meaningful insights into the human experience solidified its place as a classic in television history. When Tattoo reached the top of the bell tower, he could clearly see Santa Anita Racetrack, which was across the street. This seemingly incidental detail from the iconic 1977 TV series Fantasy Island holds more significance than meets the eye. 
Set against the backdrop of a luxurious tropical paradise, the show promised its guests a chance to live out their wildest dreams. But this small geographical nod to Santa Anita racetrack serves as a subtle anchor to reality. The juxtaposition of extravagant fantasies and everyday locales like the racetrack added a layer of relatability to the show, allowing viewers to momentarily believe in the extraordinary. In 1998, ABC attempted to revive the series, offering a contemporary twist on the enigmatic Mr. Rourke's character. This time, the role of the enigmatic host was reprised by Malcolm McDowell. Departing from the original's formula, the revival chose to emphasize the supernatural aspect of both Mr. Rourke and the island itself right from the outset. Dark humor became a driving force, weaving through the narratives and infusing the show with an intriguingly eerie atmosphere. This stark departure from the tone of the original series brought forth a fresh perspective on the concept, proving that even decades later, Fantasy Island could reinvent itself while retaining its core allure. The origins of Fantasy Island are equally intriguing. Aaron Spelling and Leonard Goldberg, the creative minds behind the show, initially pitched the idea as a jest. Following multiple rejections from ABC executive Brandon Stoddard, Spelling spontaneously suggested an island where people's sexual fantasies came to life. Surprisingly, this offhand remark struck a chord with Stoddard, sparking the inception of a series that would go on to captivate audiences for years. This unexpected genesis underlines the unpredictable nature of creativity, where an impromptu concept can evolve into a cultural touchstone. As Fantasy Island continues to leave its mark on television history, these elements remind us of the show's ability to seamlessly blend the extraordinary with the everyday, to reinvent itself while honoring its origins, and to emerge from the most unexpected of beginnings. Trouble in Paradise, Herb Villachez's rocky stint on Fantasy Island in the shimmering realm of 1970s television. One show captured the imagination of viewers with its tantalizing promise of wishes fulfilled against the backdrop of an enigmatic island. Fantasy Island, which aired from 1978 to 1984, brought to life the intriguing vision of Ricardo Montalban as the enigmatic Mr. Rourke, the overseer of a remote and mysterious Pacific island where secret desires could be realized, at a cost. Beneath the show's glossy facade, however, simmered a tale of behind-the-scenes turmoil, none more vividly than the tumultuous experience of Herve Villachez, who portrayed the iconic tattoo. The diminutive actor's antics often overshadowed his on-screen charm. As viewers tuned in for their weekly dose of wish fulfillment, Villachez engaged in a real-life battle for recognition and pay parody. Villachez, known for his distinctive cry of the plane, the plane, at the start of each episode, found himself locked in a bitter struggle with producers and colleagues. The actor's reported behavior of propositioning women and clashing with the show's creative minds marred the otherwise idyllic atmosphere of Fantasy Island. Behind the scenes, Villachez demanded a salary mirroring that of his co-star, Ricardo Montalban, a demand that only fueled tensions. As whispers of the brewing storm reached viewers' ears, the inevitable transpired. Villachez's tenure on the island was cut short, as producers opted to part ways with the problematic star. His exit left a void that was eventually filled by Christopher Hewitt, a name familiar to audiences from his roles in Mr. Belvedere and The Producers. The saga of Herb Villachez stands as a cautionary tale of the complexities that can plague even the most seemingly harmonious television enclaves. While Fantasy Island continued to enchant audiences with its exotic allure, the tumult behind the scenes revealed that paradise, even on celluloid, is not always as serene as it appears. Fantasy Island, where dreams met reality in the realm of 1970s television, Fantasy Island stood as a captivating beacon of imagination and intrigue. Premiering in 1977, the show swiftly etched its name into the cultural tapestry, melding dreams with reality in a unique and unforgettable way. A lesser-known facet of this iconic series involves its foray into literature. During the 1980s, three novels based on the show materialized, novelizing some of its most alluring episodes. Roger Elwood, a wordsmith of the era, penned the inaugural entry, an exclusive edition housing four distinct Fantasy Island stories. Jane Seskin, too, lent her pen to the endeavor, crafting two more novels that expanded upon the show's enigmatic premise. Moreover, Fantasy Island's time slot was no coincidence. Broadcast every Saturday on ABC at 10p. 
M. It followed the wake of the love boat, another creation by the prolific Aaron Spelling. Both shows converged as shimmering examples of celebrity-infused escapism, featuring an array of notable guest stars. This shared trait led to a carousel of familiar faces gracing the screen, often returning to embody disparate roles. From its inception, Fantasy Island emboldened the fantastical, setting the stage for dreams to intertwine with reality in ways both whimsical and profound. Its literary extensions and star-studded ensemble only deepened its legacy, leaving an indelible mark on television history. As we bid adieu to the realm of Fantasy Island, let us not simply part ways with a distant nod, but rather, let us engage in the tapestry of memories woven by the threads of this timeless 1977 TV series. For within these episodes, we discovered not just a destination, but a journey, a journey that led us into the deepest corners of our own desires and aspirations. As we reflect upon the tales that unfolded amidst the waves and palms, perhaps we find that Fantasy Island was not just a show, but a mirror to our own hopes and dreams. The enigmatic Mr. Rourke and his companion Tattoo, the gatekeepers to infinite possibilities, guided us through the labyrinth of human yearnings. Whether it was finding the courage to confront our fears or experiencing the sweet embrace of a long-lost moment, the island's magic became intertwined with our own life stories. So, my fellow voyager, take a moment to sift through the sands of your memories and unearth the gems that Fantasy Island has gifted you. What whispers of inspiration did it plant in your heart? What dreams did it help you nurture? Share your most treasured moments, for in doing so, you allow this timeless series to transcend its screen and become an integral part of the stories we all hold dear. With gratitude for the moments shared and the dreams kindled, I thank you, dear reader, viewer, for embarking on this journey of reflection. Your time and interest are the true essence of this tale. Until we meet again amidst the waves of another narrative, remember, the magic of Fantasy Island lives on within you.